guys welcome to today's tutorial um intro to html and css where i'll be discussing what html is as well as css and how they both go together in creating web pages um before we go deep into the tutorial you are going to need two tools for now um which is a browser i use chrome here and a text editor uh, my preferred choice is Visual Studio Code. Uh, or you can choose anyone. You can use Sublime, Atom, any one of the choice. Um, it's all up to you. So um, also, if you would like to watch the videos first and then go practice on your own later, that is totally fine. Or if you would like to um, code along with the instructor, that's fine as well. So let's dive in. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and HTML is the standard markup, standard markup language for web pages. What that means is that it is the core language for my, um, telling the browser how context should be structured on a page. Um, so what that means is that you write HTML, and your browser reads that file, and displays the content on the web page how you had already laid it out in your HTML file. So um, maybe you should see an example so you understand. So an HTML element is a start tag and an end tag with content in between. So this is a sample of an HTML element and this tag is a heading tag. Oh, more on that later. and okay so and html elements are represented by two um angle bracket tags as you can see here this so this is a, a left angle bracket and a right angle bracket so basically uh, a html tag is going to be in between these two brackets as you can see right here as you can see here and this is a starting tag this is what the starting tag look uh, starting tag looks like and this is what the an html um closing tag looks like so the only difference between the two is this slash this forward slash here because um you have to be able to indicate where a tag is starting and where a tag is ending so that is the purpose of this now so your browser is able to tell that this is where the element starts with this tag and this is where the element stops with this tag so let's dive in hopefully you understand more when you start working with code uh, so i'm going to create a file here called index.html also creating an, a, an html file called index.html is actually a standard because that is the first file um, a server looks for when um serving your website up to the client so what i mean is that when a user goes to your page the index.html file is the first file that will be loaded in their browsers so um servers have been built to behave like that so you have your your first html file has to be named index.html right uh, so the others you can link to other HTML pages from within this one, you'll see that later on. So um, I'm using an extension called Emmet. You can also install it too. It helps uh, me work faster. I don't have to write the um, boilerplate code. I can just use an, a snippet and then it appears there magically. So um, it's called Emmet, as you can see here. Uh, I think yeah, it actually comes pre-installed with VS Code. It actually comes pre-installed with Visual Studio Code. Let's see. Uh, show installed extension. So you can see Emmet, 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 Emmet. Why is it not here? Aye, aye. Okay, so let, let me check again. Emmet. Oh, Emmet, Emmet Live. I why is this not here? Well, um, maybe we'll fix that up later. But for now, let's get to coding. So I can just do this and boom. 
so let me explain what all this is um this line of code here is telling the browser what type of file it's being load is uh, being loaded so this line here stands for doc type or document type and this is declaring the type of document that is being loaded into the browser so this says doc type html as you can see there and then this is um another tag called html tag so this is where everything else is going to be wrapped in as you can see this is a starting tag and here is the closing tag so you can see this is a starting tag and this is a closing tag we also have another tag called head which contains all the metadata and by metadata i mean all the data that um a browser needs to know about your site so the head tag will contain every data that the browser needs to know about your site like this um the meta car set equals to utf8 this is specifying the character set and you are using the unicode utf8 um, character set and this is the meta name viewport which is telling the browser that the width should be the device's width and the initial scale should be 1.0 and we can google that later and then this is another meta tag um, is this here is basically saying that you should give the best services to internet explorer because um internet explorer really has a hard time loading web pages because it's a really really old browser and most of the features don't work um out of the box so you need to um, um so you need to consider the browser okay so this now is a title tag and what it does is that it sets the title of your page so we're just going to change this to home and you'll see where that is um so where is open with life let me just launch this real quick open with live server oh yeah i'm also using an extension called live server which is helping me um auto refresh my page in the background so i don't manually have to come and refresh this here every time i um write something in here as you can see here i set the title tag to home and uh one minute and you can see okay so this this is where the title tag works it's basically telling the browser that that is the title of your web page that is what your web page is all about in a nutshell so um let's write our first line of code uh, oh yeah i forgot to mention that everything in this head tag doesn't appear in the browser by the browser i mean in here everything in the head tag doesn't appear in here because i said that the head tag contains extra information that your browser needs to know what your web page needs and how to um serve your work uh, your um web page to the users so um let's run and so this is it and we're going to be saying a h1 tag close it and then you say hello world so save it see um and now you see the use of that extension i don't really need to refresh the browser it automatically does that for me so you see this is our first website hello world hello world nice so um this is a heading tag and it signifies the um it signifies that this is where the content on your website starts from so this um content in here can be a topic um a, a question anything you want at all but basically this, um suggest to the browser or a user that content starts from here and this is a heading 
there are six different tags um, six different heading tags uh, and they are h1 to h6 so h2 hello world actually this is doing this is very slow so i'm just going to copy and paste this one and change the tags here i think this is much faster h5 and the final one h6 also one more thing um from h1 to h6 the size of the text actually vary so h1 is the biggest and h6 is the smallest as you will see here now see so h1 is the biggest h2 followed by h3 h4 h5 h6 h6 is the smallest so the sizes are this are reducing in a descending order so um it depends on what you want to use the tags for so let's add more content we don't need this anymore and i'm going to be adding a paragraph here so this is a p p tag and this element represents a paragraph like a paragraph you know a paragraph signifies the beginning of a story um uh, the contents that you are writing on your web page so um the earth is actually the earth is not only spherical spherical and consists of 70 percent water i hope i'm right and then see so this is a paragraph now this is how a paragraph shows up on your page the earth is spherical and consists of 70 percent water I, I, um we need more text than that so let me go and look for some dummy text generator and uh i don't want lorem ipsum uh okay if we're going to use lorem ipsum then i guess i can just generate this in here so let's say lorem 50 what this is is um a standard dummy text for web pages so you just fill in the tag with dummy text to occupy space and serve as content on your page as you can see here so this is a paragraph and let's create two more of those uh, c c v paste and then format for me uh let me format this well i hate when this does that okay okay let's check our page now and voila we have our first web page um congrats for, uh, for making it this far guys um if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them in the comment sections below i'll try to answer them as quickly as possible and if you have and if you can't reply um if we can't reply be sure to um ask us in the slack channel and we'll be there to answer you your colleagues will be there to answer you there will always be someone to answer you and um the next video will be coming up where i'll be introducing you to css and we'll be having more content on our page we'll be looking at using images um lists and a few more html elements in the meantime you can go and um, make researches on html you can come to this site here um, it's called w3school.com 
it's a very handy website and it has everything you need to become a web developer as you can see here so it has tutorials ranging from html css javascript sql python bootstrap everything it has content for front end back end and a few more miscellaneous web tutorials and goodbye guys see you next time